All right, welcome back to the pig toss game tutorial inside Construct 3. In the last video, we got uh, some more of the game logic set up. We got the cannons working. We'll go ahead and preview what we got so far. We got some sparks on our fuse, a little smoke coming out of the cannon when we launch our pig from one side to the other, and uh, updating the score as well. All right. Let's give him some obstacles. And in fact, uh, I'm going to collapse all of these. And I'm going to make a new group. And I'm going to call this uh, Tomato Spawn. In Tomato Spawn, I'm going to create an event. And I am going to pick System Every X Seconds. Instead of typing in a number, I am going to just type in our global variable of spawn speed so that we can change it up here and that will change it for every time that we put spawn speed in, which uh, we only use it twice, but it's good practice uh, to have a variable control something like this. So I'm just going to type in the name of our variable, which is spawn speed. And right now spawn speed is set up to zero. I'm going to set spawn speed at 1. Point, uh, 1. Uh, 1, I believe is what I went with before. Once we get this working and you play around with it, you can change that to uh, meet whatever kind of difficulty you would like. All right, so every 1.1 seconds, let's add an action. Let's say system create object. And that object is going to be the tomato. And the layer is going to be the game layer. And for the x value, this is where we want it to spawn from. I want it to spawn, I'm going to go ahead and pick done. We'll come back to it. Over on the layout, I want it to spawn somewhere up here off screen, but just above uh, where our viewport is. But I want it to spawn at the same y value, which is going to be somewhere up here, and just a random x value, which is from left to right. So back over on the event sheet, I'm going to go in to our x. I want it to be random, so I'm going to type in the random function, which is random, uh, parentheses, and I'm going to take the width of the layout. So I'm just going to type in layout width. So layout width which is 854, that's what we set it up as in the beginning. So I don't want it to spawn just anywhere on that X value in those eight, uh, 854 pixels. So I'm going to say the layout width, which is 854 minus 680. And what that's gonna put us at is 174. So layout width is uh, 854 minus 680 is 174. So click done. It won't let me because I didn't put the parentheses. There we go. So over here in our layout, 174, uh, you can see our mouse position right here. So if I just kind of go till I get to 174, right about, right about there. So this is as far left as it's going to spawn. It's going to come down. And we do this on purpose because when our pig is right here, we don't want him to uh, get hit by something and lose the game whenever he's not even flying. So 174 is where that's going to be. So I want to come in 174 pixels from the right. So what we're going to do is go back into it. We have our random layout width minus 680 comma. Then we're going to do layout width. layout width uh, minus 174. And then for our Y, I'm just going to put in minus 20. So every 1.1 seconds, we're going to start create. Let's, let's just take a preview. And uh, we did not set our bullet up. <laughs> so let's, let's add an action. Go to sprites, tomato, scroll down to bullet, and let's 
select uh, the bullet angle of motion. And we want to go straight down, which is 90 degrees in Construct 3 in Game Engine. And I also want them, we, we set the, the bullet speed at zero uh, for the tomato. So I'm going to add an action, sprite, tomato. I'm going to set speed. And I'm just going to say a random speed between, uh, let's say, 200, 350 in parentheses. So a uh, random speed between 200 and 350 at 90 degrees. Let's uh, drag that speed above the 90 degrees. This has to be first. So let's play this. And there we go. At 90 degrees, we have to make it's raining tomatoes. So, OK. I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to go over here to families. I'm going to add a family. I'm going to pick the tomato and the carrot and add. I'm going to say OK. I'm going to rename it FAM underscore uh, crops because I might add more later on. If you are working with the free version, you can't do families. Not a big deal. I will show you how that works. Uh, go up to initialize. And let's add an action. I'm going to pick my family of crops and I'm going to type in destroy. And I'm going to slide that up to right there. So if you don't have, the, or if you are working the free version, just pick the carrot and then destroy. And then go another action, pick the tomato and destroy. This just helps me do both at the same time uh, if you have families available. OK, we can collapse initialize. I don't think we need it anymore, actually. Let's create another group and call this carrot spawn. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add an event system uh, every x seconds. And I want that to be spawn speed. And I want to create an object. So system create object. And that object is going to be the carrot. And say OK. The layer is going to be game. The x value is going to be a random between, uh, let's say, layout width minus, uh, what do we say, 680, minus 680, comma, layout, whoops, layout width minus 174 in parentheses. And then for the Y, uh, I'm going to set it at 500 because we have 480 pixels on the Y. This will put it 20 pixels below our screen. There we go. I want our carrots to shoot up like missiles from the ground. So I am going to set uh, let's uh, add an action. Oops, not text. Let's go to our carrot. And I want to set the bullet angle of motion. And I want to go straight up, which is 270. I want the speed to be, let's get our carrot again. Scroll down to speed. Let's do what we did for the tomato random. Uh, parentheses, uh, 200 comma 3, let's just do 300 in parentheses. So random speed of 200, in between 200 and 300, I'm going to slide that up above the angle of motion and then add one more action because our carrot, you can see the, the green part, the leaf part is on the top, but I want it to shoot up like a missile, so I want the point of the carrot to point up. So we need to change that. Go to sprites, carrot, and set angle. And right now it's at zero degrees up and down like this. So to get it to turn all the way around to point up, it's going to turn 180 degrees. So 180 is going to be the angle. And let's play. 
And there are our tomatoes, and there's some carrots shooting up into the sky. All right. And our little piggy going back and forth. And we will make it to where uh, something happens when you collide with our vegetables or fruits. Okay, uh, let's save. One more thing I want to show you while we're at this. I'm going to go to the debug layout. And I am going to show you, uh, I'll just click on carrot. Each time a carrot is created, it creates it in-game. But these carrots are just going off into space, and we have more and more objects. You can see how many objects are in the game. The number just keeps going up. We don't want that. So I am going to create a group. I'm going to call this destroy. And I'm going to add an event. And I'm going to pick uh, the carrot. And I'm going to say overlapping another object. And that object is going to be destroy. And then I'll add an action. And I'll pick our carrot. And I'm just going to pick destroy. So when the carrot overlaps that purple uh, sprite that we created and named destroy, the actual carrot object itself is going to be destroyed. So I'm going to add an event, sprite, tomato, is overlapping another object, destroy, and add an action, sprite, tomato, destroy. Let's add an another event, sprite, let's pick our little piggy, and uh, say overlapping another object, destroy, and let's add an a uh, action, sprite, pig, destroy. Okay, that will come in handy later. So there is the logic for that. That is all we're going to need in that group. We are good with our spawners as well, so we can collapse those. And I'm going to stop right there. In the next video, we are going to wrap things up. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to save.